Hello friends, this video on environmental issues part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we are going to talk about the next uh, effect which that is the greenhouse effect. So let us see what is greenhouse effect. Now looking at the name, do you think this greenhouse is going to be a house which is green in color? Well, not really. Instead, it is an effect that maintains the temperature within the earth. Now, if you see the temperature plays a very important role for the survival of living organisms. If you think of yourself, if you think, if we think about any one of us rather, what happens? Sometimes when the weather is extremely cold, we need a lot of blankets, sweaters and woolens to adapt to that temperature, right? Similarly, when it is very hot, again, we need AC, air cooler, etc. to keep ourselves cool. So, as the temperature varies, our body also needs some time to adapt to it. So, you can understand that for the survival of living organisms, it is very important for the earth to maintain a suitable temperature. And what helps in the maintenance of this temperature is this process of greenhouse effect. So here we are going to see that how exactly this process occurs and in this process of maintaining the temperature within earth, atmosphere plays a very important role. How atmosphere plays an important role that is what we have to see here. So it is a phenomenon in which the earth's surface is warmed up due to incoming radiation through the atmosphere. Now what happens is this is the sun. So as you can see in this picture, this is the sun and this is the earth. So on the earth you see the lot of living organisms etc. So what happens the light or the heat which, come, which comes to the surface of the earth that actually comes from the sun. Now as the incoming radiation comes from the sun, it passes through the layer or the blanket of air called atmosphere and this radiation heats up the earth but at the same time it needs to be taken care that the earth doesn't get heated too much even that will become a problem. So in this process we see that how the earth's surface gets heated up due to the incoming radiation through the atmosphere and how a balance exists between the incoming radiation and the outgoing radiation to and from the earth. The, the way incoming radiation comes from the sun to the earth in a very similar way some radiation goes out from the sun from the earth to the outer space now a part of the radiation also gets reflected as soon as it falls on the surface of the earth a part of it gets reflected as well so what we have to see is how there is a proper balance between incoming and outgoing radiation so that a suitable temperature is maintained within the earth so we will take one analogy to understand what we are actually going to study. So here we will take an example of a piggy bank and we will try to see how exactly the atmosphere plays an important role in balancing the incoming and outgoing radiation. So in this we will take the example of a piggy bank and let us say there is a little boy and he has a piggy bank. Now what does he do? Whenever he gets some money, he puts that inside the piggy bank. So he ends up putting a lot of coin in the piggy bank and he is very happy end of the day. Why? Because nobody else is able to take out the money from his piggy bank because there is no other option than breaking it off. So there is no other option of taking out the money. So he is extremely happy that he is able to save a lot of money. Now let us suppose there is another scenario where the same boy is trying to save his money instead of piggy bank in a box and that box is like open. So he is putting his coins inside this open box every day. But in this case he is not quite happy. Why? Because since the box is open so he is putting the money coins inside the box but the coins are going out as well. Sometimes he himself is taking out the coins to maybe buy chocolates or to buy a pen or to roam around. Sometimes somebody else is taking out the money. So the money is not getting saved properly. So end of the day, he is not that happy. He's quite sad here. Now why his money is going out in this case? Because there is a provision of going out. 
because there is there are no doors there are no lock so it is always open so the way it is coming in in a very similar way it can go out as well now let us say that there is a third scenario where he has a piggy bank but in this case he has a lock and key so in this case he can put the coins inside the piggy bank so he is quite happy that it is not open and it is not getting used up so frequently but at the same time there is a lock and key provision so in case of emergency if he wants to bring take out some coins he can open the lock with his key and take out some money so in this case his money is getting saved but not as much as in case one so let us number these three scenarios let us say this is scenario number one this is scenario number two and this is scenario number three so what happens in scenario number one maximum savings in scenario number one so here you have maximum saving where do you have minimum saving so minimum saving is in scenario number three because it is it is an open box so you are also taking out coins from there somebody else might also take out coins from here and scenario number two is intermediate saving. Now let us try to understand this analogy with respect to greenhouse effect. So let us say that this little boy is nothing but the sun which is the source of energy. In this case this boy is the source of the coin so he is bringing the coins. So for this piggy bank the boy is the source of coin. So let us say this boy is the sun. And let us say that the piggy bank is nothing, nothing but the earth. So piggy bank is the earth. This boy is the sun. So sun is providing the energy to whom? To earth. So here also in, our, in the real scenario, sun is providing radiation to the earth. Okay. And where is the role of atmosphere here? So in the first case, what do we see? There is an atmosphere. What is that atmosphere? So basically this provision, in this case there is no option of taking out the coins. Why? Because the blanket of the piggy bank is extremely hard. So the blanket is too dense and what is the blanket? The blanket is nothing but a dense atmosphere. So in this case the atmosphere or the blanket is very dense. So there is no provision of coming out. So in this case what is happening? A lot of incoming radiation because there is provision for incoming radiation. Coins can go inside but coins cannot come out. So that is the scenario. So what is happening? Maximum savings. So in case of sun and earth what will happen? If the atmosphere is very dense, it is so dense that it allows the incoming radiation to enter inside the earth but it doesn't allow it to go out. So what will happen? The temperature inside the earth will be too hot. Like here maximum savings so maximum heat inside the earth. Now let us consider scenario number three. So here sun is providing incoming radiation but since there is no atmosphere at all. So here there is no lead at all. So it is all open. The box is all open. So that means there is no atmosphere at all. So when there is no atmosphere what will happen? Whatever radiation is incoming radiation is coming in all of that is going out so no heat is actually reaching the earth now if there is no heat which is reaching the earth what will happen the earth will be too cold so there is no savings actually minimum savings or you can say no savings at all so in this case temperature inside the earth is going to be too cold now let us consider the second scenario where you have an atmosphere. There is a provision that there is a blanket which is protecting the money which is there inside. But at the same time you have a lock and key concept. So that means in this case atmosphere is present and it is neither too dense nor it is too light. So in that case an appropriate atmosphere is present. Now if the atmosphere is appropriate, in this case what is happening, the temperature will also be intermediate. So the temperature will neither be too hot nor will it be too cold. So that means what do we see? That atmosphere plays a very important role in maintaining the temperature inside the 
earth so in greenhouse effect what we will see is how exactly i mean how exactly the radiations get absorbed by different gases because of which the temperature inside the earth is more because if there is no sunlight reaching the earth in that case earth will be all dark without any heat so earth will be otherwise very cold so there is something which is heating up the earth and what is that the radiation from the sun so we will see that atmosphere balances the incoming and the outgoing radiation from the sun to maintain earth's temperature at an optimum value so i think with this example of piggy bank you got to understand how atmosphere controls the temperature of the earth okay so if that is clear then we will go ahead with understanding of greenhouse effect now in real life also the same thing happens this is the sun sun sends its incoming radiation and there is an atmosphere which decides how much radiation i mean it allows the incoming radiation to get in at the same time some outgoing radiation also happens that means some part of the radiation also gets reflected and a suitable temperature is maintained within the earth now what exactly happens in real life is something like this let us suppose this is the sun okay and let us say this is the earth somewhere here this is our earth now what happens sun will give its radiation so the incoming radiation from the sun will fall on the surface of the earth now some solar radiation will get reflected by the earth surface so this is getting reflected by earth surface right so up some part of it not the entire radiation so some part of the radiation got reflected and the remaining comes inside the earth now about 70% of the incident solar radiation is absorbed by land and oceans or atmosphere so 70% of it has been absorbed within the earth now what happens when the land or the oceans get heated up because when they absorb the solar radiation they will gradually get heated up so when they get heated up they release heat and the heat is released in the form of incident in in the form of infrared radiation right so now this is absorbed by maybe oceans or land or whatever and when they get heated up they will again release heat so this heat will be released in the form of infrared radiation correct so now what will happen to the infrared radiation so this infrared radiation will try to escape out of the earth through the at into the space now if the infrared radiation wants to escape out into the space it has to cross the atmosphere correct so this infrared radiation passes out through the atmosphere into the space but in greenhouse effect what we are going to see is in these layers of atmosphere there are certain gases which absorb a part of the infrared radiation as a result now infrared radiation what does it do it heats an object now if infrared radiation get trapped within the earth in that case what will happen the temperature of the earth will increase and this process is known as greenhouse effect now in the next slide we will try to understand the greenhouse effect in little more detail Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.